When American society was struggling with the Great Depression, car dealers across the country were desperate for something that could revitalize consumers, bring rebirth of excitement in the automotive industry, and once again drive traffic to showroom floors. In 1935, their prayers were answered with the arrival of the Auburn 852 SC Boattail Speedster, a car that became an icon of the Art Deco aesthetic. I think every human, in a way, ends up going through a rebirth at some point. There's many ways of being reborn again, and I think these cars deserve another chance. I'm James Hetfield, dad, husband. I am a singer and guitar player for a band called Metallica. And I am obsessed with cars. Peterson Museum obviously is the pinnacle of uh, any collection, I would say, of cars in the world. To be a part of that is an honor. And to be able to put these on display, someone else can get inspired, or some young kid says, hey, that's really cool, but I could do better, you know? That's what I would love to see. My name is Rick Dorr. I'm here to talk about the custom motorcycle that Game Over built, that was inspired by the car that James Hetfield and I built. It's called Slow Burn. It's a car. James bought this car, it was in a, like a swamp. It's a storage yard that was probably six or seven inches of water. James bought it, it was a mess. They had to drag it off of the trailer. He asked me if there was anything we could do with it. And I said, well, yeah. When we seen the pictures of the bike that Game Over built, we were just knocked out. It was incredible. But when you compare that bike to James's car, the Slow Burn, it looks like it's little brother. I mean, they just did an incredible job with the styling. From the bright work where the portholes come out and the chrome work that was done to the handlebars that were styled after the Duval windshield that was on the Slow Burn, just incredible. The color was right on, that root beer candy look, the wheels, everything was just right on. And knowing that the slow burn inspired that bike to be built, it was just kind of flattering. They love to be touched, they love to be handled, they love to be driven, 